Good morning. I'm Eli Juicy Jones, the Zorbal Vaping Headquarters. Come back here and check it out. It's Vape AM Wednesday morning, and it's actually Thursday, sorry. And we're going to see why the Capo 216 is my favorite kit of all year. Check it out. Vape AM, iJoy Capo 216, SRDA kit. We're going to review it today, and we're going to have a great day. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters, Juicy Jones HQ, here on the YouTuberies. And you can also find us on Instagram, and you can find us on Twitter, and on Facebook, at Facebook forward slash groups, Juicy Jones HQ. And this is the place where we're trying to get you further, faster with vaping. We're trying to get old, y'all. We're trying to not die of cancer, and we're trying to help people understand the science of vaping and how this stuff works and build a community. I want to thank everybody who joined us live. If you're here in the replay, thanks, too. We're going to review this I enjoy right now after just a tiny bit of channel news. We're here every Wednesday and Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. I am high in orbit above Seattle, Washington. We're having a nice day. We have fans all over the world. So hello to everybody who tuned in. James, Michaela, Ed, Mike, everybody. Oh, my gosh. I'm in there, too. David Ham. Uh, all of y'all, I'm so sorry about yesterday. Yesterday, YouTube decided to just die. It wasn't YouTube's fault. It was Comcast's fault. So I was getting about 1.2 megabyte upload speed. So we tried to do this yesterday. Instead of we're going to do it today. What we're going to do is we're going to review the iJoy Combo SRDA kit, which is one of my favorite kits. I don't know why my camera moved there. I must have bumped it. One of my favorite kits ever. This thing comes with an SRDA, which is a little... RDA that has a replaceable top. It has rebuildable tops and these little clear miser tops that are just RDAs. You don't have to. Uh, and this amazing Squonk mod, which is a dual 2700, comes with the batteries and has separate doors. So we're going to do a full breakdown of this thing right now. You guys know that we opened this thing maybe. I got one of these in the mail from iJoy, and thank you, iJoy, for sending these. They sent me a few of these, and this white one that we're going to open is mine. But you guys know that we opened up this green one a few months ago. When we opened up this SRDA, gosh, it must have been November. Uh, but this is the first time that I've got the entire kit here in front of me, and I'm pretty excited. This morning, I turned off my mod accident, and I am vaping on iJoy, I'm sorry, Van Gogh Amour, which is delicious. And I want to show you guys everything about it. This is the box that it comes in. This particular one that I ordered has the batteries and the RDA, but you can also buy this in just the mod on the batteries and the RDA separately if you like to. The RDA is on sale at Vapor DNA for $14 right now, which is really inexpensive. So pick one of those up. The replacement tops for the are there at Vapor DNA too. There's links in the description down. And uh, there's a link to this entire kit right here at iJoy. Uh, right down in the description. Don't forget to use the discount codes that I put down. Uh, so 6,000 Ma is the com combination of these two batteries, and that's no joke, too. I'll show you the actual measurement. The box has a little bit of a warning thing on it. I think I'm going to grab the focus for you. Got some scratch and sniff and some identification stuff. This is the matte white version. It also comes in matte gold, matte orange and blue, matte green, matte orange, white. I also have um, one of the matte orange and blue ones that I'll be giving away on Instagram. Look at that shrink wrap. And thanks for I, to iJoy for sending that thing. Got yeah, some on an Instagram giveaway. Follow us on Instagram at Juicy Jones Cube. So this is what we have in here, two 2700 batteries included, iJoy Capo 216 Squonk box mod, combo SRDA with the CE.13 ohm coil pre-installed, 18650 adapter, an extra Squonk bottle, tool pack, cable to manual, warranty card. We'll see all that stuff. Here in the literature, it says iJoy Capo 16 SRDA kit is the first and smallest dual 2700 Squonk kit, which is absolutely true. There's nothing else like this on the bat on the market. This thing has long battery life and great flavor, no hassles. The batteries are included. I this is basically a run, don't walk type of situation from my opinion. Grab one of these. I like these. Full disclosure, the one I've got, the other one I've got has had a service on the batteries and I on the on the button and I button. 
uh, screwed up and started auto firing. I sent it back, and it turned out that I had, I had done something to. I did something to it. So this is the mod itself. This thing is so similar to the old RX form factor, if you guys remember. Just a little, little tiny bit bigger than the RX. Not even barely. It's a little bit heavier. Well, not really. With the batteries in it, these things are just about the same because the RX had three batteries in it. Yeah, okay, spring loaded. 510 squawk and this thing is an incredibly big one so i love how it's a large squawk top so things like my cali that have a giant squawk tube are really great and the reason why large diameter squawks are good look you can see right through that the reason those are good is for drainage it isn't for the speed up into the atomizer it's for drainage speed back down into the squawk bottle you guys notice i've already put a sticker on here and thanks to m's double d's these. Oh, and I forgot to put a link. I need to put a link in the description for where you can pick up these stickers. This is the iJoy front right here. No atomizer right now. The software is a little bit basic. It's got power and it's got temperature control and you can reset the puff meter. That is it. You get terrific battery life with these. Temperature control is always worse than regular wattage, but still it's really good. Nickel, titanium, stainless steel, and you can set your temperature control curve in here as well if you want to. Go back to power mode. Power mode has normal, then two extra modes, hard and soft, and these are 20% plus or minus. So why did you put it? I'm going to put this back down on about 50 or so, 55. It goes in half watt increments, 58 and a half, 59 and a half. I actually like that. There's no reason to go in single ones and half is good. And the curve is pretty good. Not as fast as the diamond. Uh, got all these torque screws everywhere. Venting for your batteries here. Two plastic buttons, plastic front. The whole thing feels really good. It's like a little, like a little whiter green. Hand hold it, it just feel perfect in the hand. These are perfect in the hand. I absolutely love these things. There's a little bit of movement in this door. There's none in this door. So there's going to be a little bit of variation there between the different ones you get. These are magnetic. One of my complaints about this is that I wish this had a little bit more of a tongue on it. See that little tiny tongue right there? It goes into that little groove right there. That lets you latch it in. And I just wish that were a little bit bigger because these magnets are really good. They'll come loose. If you drop it, they come out. But this really ought to be just a little bit longer. Inside. But it's great. Great big clicky button. I love iJoy's commitment to huge buttons this year. It's great. The caption had a great big button. Super nice. And Capo 100. Nice big button. Really great. Love the big buttons. Diamond has a pretty big button. I love. Not huge, but great. And there's USB charging here. The USB charging is two amps over both cell, over each cell, over the both cells. Sorry, so it's split. It's one amp per cell. So the charge time on this is pretty good. It's about four hours. No, it's under four hours. So that is pretty darn good. Not too bad. It'd be better if it were four amps charging two into each one, but that would just be a nightmare for the charger. You'd have to always have a special charger and stuff. So they do have two amp charging, one into each cell, and that's really good. Here's the magnet door down here for the squonk bottle. They include two kinds of squonk bottle, which we're going to open the box and I'll show you. There's a little rubber tube here. Or there's a stainless steel tube here. I wish this were just a teeny bit lower, but it's still very good. These bottles go to 99% empty. I've seen some complaining online about the bottles, but I don't get it. I think the bottles are fine. This goes up into there. Here is your little bottle retainer. It scoots up into there and plugs into your bottle. I have had this thing get stuck up inside there, but not too much. It's always smaller than the bottle top. So if you get your bottle in there correctly, it will eventually come out of there if it gets stuck in this ring. And you can pull this ring out and clean it. I have done. Uh, this thing is relatively easy, easy to clean because you can take this ring out, wipe it off, take it back. That's so pretty good. I like this thing. All right, so here's the door. I wish the door latch were a little bit further back inside this thing, like on the SX, but 
or the Yihi rather, but still it's good. And very, very occasionally you can accidentally press it with your finger, but I'm not doing it now. Like, so just occasionally I've touched that thing and it's opened up. Not very I like it. It's a pretty stiff latch. The door is good. We have positive and negative alternating inside here. The door is pretty thick and got stainless steel on the bottom. These are the batteries that came with the kit, and I've already put them in the charge, discharge charge cycle and measured the maw. They're both over 3,000 maw. So I have at least 3,200 maw, 6,500 maw worth of vaping in this setup, and that is quite a bit. That is, that's quite a bit of vaping. It's most of the day you're chain vaping it. 60, 70. Looks pretty. Uh, looks great. I love the way this thing looks. Let's take a look at the SRDA and open up the box. I'll pull the felt out. There it is. I like this. You guys have already seen my video on the SRDA and you know that I like this thing. I don't know why everybody hasn't run to get these. It has a replaceable deck that you can buy that screws in there. These are little replaceable decks that you buy. They cost 10 bucks for three of them. There's a link in the bio. And you can also buy rebuildable decks for this, like a normal, I think there's three different kinds. The clamp, Two kinds of velocity, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and they have good airflow, good flavor. I asked iJoy about these things, what was the idea? And they said that they were aiming for flavor with these. And they, I think they achieved it personally. They've got big, fat double O-rings. They're 25 millimeter. They have a curvy inside cap like they should. 810. Dual Cyclops error. Symmetrical baby. He's a sip of coffee. For those of you just tuning in, I'm Eli Juicy Jones. We're reviewing the iJoy combo. I'm sorry, iJoy Capo 216 kit today. It includes the combo SRDA, and I'm just having a coffee break between the review. We just opened up and looked at the mod. Now we're looking at the actual RDA. That's delicious. This is Van Gogh Vapes Churros that I have in my Revo on my iJoy Diamond. That is so delicious. So let's check this thing out. Uh -huh, Ed in the, in the audience said, I like big buttons and I cannot lie. I totally agree. I love big buttons. So I've been vaping on these for days and I cleaned them up this morning. But the way this works is that this RDA, this has this big threaded thing in here. And then you take this out and then you can replace this metal part, this whole part with either a replaceable deck, different kinds of coils, or two different kinds of decks. I guess there's two different things. This is one of the two different kinds of coils you can put in there. This is the 0.13 and it's a five wrap Clapton and there's a 0.1 that's suitable to slightly higher wattages up to about 100. And I haven't tried those, but I assume they're similarly good. There's a squonk pin in there, a piece of ceramic, and the coils are soldered to it. You see here, we can take this apart pretty easily using the goodie from the kit. We're going to examine the rest of the kit. And then we can take this thing off. By just screwing it. So that's cool. Now we're going to do that in a second to this thing. We've seen the SRDA. Let's go through the kit and see what all we get. We get a tool kit that has the little mini screwdriver that you use to open free wick, which you don't have to. If you don't want to do that, you can either get the rebuildable deck for this thing or you can uh, just buy new replaceable coils. So if you want to rewick this, good. If not, no worries. It lasts for a long time. And uh, like, like I said, I've been vaping on this for over a week and then look, I rebuilt it. And we have O-rings and cotton for your rebuildable and a key to open that thing up. That is cool. We also have USB cable, which, so what? And an 18650 adapter, like I, iJoy's other 18650 adapters, which I have several of these things here. iJoy's 18650 adapters are made of the blue, in this case, silicone wraps that you put 18650s down into. Then just put them in your mod. They work great. And they also serve as protectors for your wraps. I absolutely love these things, right? And they fit in there and the silicone is just wide enough for there to be one millimeter. 
WizMac has been including these hard shell adapters for theirs. That's for the RX2 and that's for the RX2 1700. And it's a little annoying that they have two different adapters, but uh, you can always use it for larger batteries too. So iToys adapters are pretty good. They work great. No complaints about these so far. And to tell you the truth, to be honest, I don't use these very much because you guys know I don't use these a lot. But I have put them through testing. And hmm, there's also a good manual in here, which goes over all the pertinent things. And here is the white bottle that everybody has been talking about. A lot of people have, I don't know, maybe overrated this. And a lot of people have underrated it. I, I think this thing is great. I think this thing is great. Uh, I just got it out of the ultrasonic cleaner. A little bit of liquid still inside there. But the theory here is that this side here is firm. These are squishy. And the empty rate on this with my bow was nearly empty. Like, in fact, I got it down to where it wouldn't squeeze anymore. And I looked at it really closely and it was so low. There was no angle I could get to it with out. But it was so clear to close to empty that it was really no more than one drip. So I wasn't too worried about it. I think maybe complaint overrated. This thing looks really good and it works just fine. I'm not sure that it's worth... A revolution these little plastic ones also work just fine i prefer if they were just all silicone. but as you can see, it really looks fantastic you stick that in there and then the firmness of the sides of the bottle give it a little bit more resistance to press against mashing your finger in there i don't know about ordering any replacements for these and i think that might be a slight ding so far i'm not sure we can buy replacements um i got a note from somebody asking about where to get them, and I'm not sure I'm going to send iJoy a question about it. But there it is right there, squirting out. Let's fill this with some e-liquid, and then use the SRDA. I'm going to use churros from the new reformulated bakery line. As you guys know, this used to be in the International Delights line. Oh, it's so delicious. I'm just squeezing a whole mess of churros. You'll notice this thing says max nine millimeters, but we're going to put at least 10 or 11 in it. No way this thing is capable of holding 10. So if we go up to this line, on now, eight and a half, nine, and then we're surely going to 10, 10 and a half here, up to the top. And you're not supposed to go all the way to the top. Do not, do not in any circumstances, go into the tube here because the tube part needs to be fully available for the top of the squonk thing. But see, I still have a little air bubble, so we're good. I filled it up just to the top of this little line at the top of the bottle. We're all good there. That's going to squonk like a monster. It's got a super thick tube coming up here. I really love this thing. And here is our little stopper. I like this little stopper because you can carry it with you. You can plug up your old bottle and then throw it in your vape bag. I wouldn't throw it just in my pocket. I wish it had maybe a little rubber band that would go around it or something. Or maybe this were attached something on the bottle that you could put around it. Kind of like the way Aspire did. Like, do you guys remember the Revo? I'll show you. What if they did something like this? That good? So, anyway, it's really good though. It's fine. I throw that back in the bottle. So now let's get back to the SRDA. And the SRDA, I can use it just as is if I want to. Or I'll take it apart and I'll show you how it rewicks. Quite simple. If you'll notice, I'm turning this, but the SRDA part in there is not. It's because it's held in there with those two tabs on the top and bottom. So when you're doing this, just put your finger on it. You'll notice it pushes through and then grab it. The wall will come away, and so will this little tiny white O-ring. Make sure that you retain both of these things carefully. So what you get is this little floating 510 with your wicks on it. So it's quite simple, really. There's also a little O-ring inside the bottom here. And if you don't want to change these things, you'll never have to mess with this. It's not at all required. This is only if you want to change the cotton. Like I said, you can always replace these. If you take this out, you just pop that thing out. Put new cotton in there like I did. And then grab your tool and push the cotton down into the side just so it touches the bottom. Oh, sorry, now you can see it. Just so it touches the bottom, just like an RDA, but I'm holding it together with my hands. 
And then we just screw the top back on. Really not hard. So this is optional and it makes these last longer. And then we take the top, see how you can read it, SRDA.13? You can read it, that's correct. The thread parts go down. So look down into it and you can see two little notches and you see the two little notches on the RDA with the coils. All we do is match those up. See, that's what I did, I just matched. Poking that thing up through the bottom. Gonna just wiggle it just a little bit. See now how those tabs line up. So now all we have to do is grab the tool, get the bottom flush, Don't worry about having to pull it out or anything. You see right now that I'm going the opposite direction and the reason is because I'm just finding the threads. There we go, I found them. I'm going the correct way, clockwise. So that's really easy. It doesn't take time. In fact, I did that right before the show, two times, one on each of these. So put that little O-ring on the bottom there again, that's important, and then just screw it at the bottom. And if you don't want to rebuild it, then don't. Just use the rebuildable deck that you can buy, like I said, or just buy these things. They're three for ten dollars. Wow. So this little guy, we just screw it down here. Let me tell you something about the flavor on this RDA too. And Leighton's Life is pointing out that this is a good idea for people who don't want to do coils themselves, want an RDA experience. And that's exactly what I'm saying is that you get the RDA experience with this and the RDA vape without having to do any building at all. You can just, like I said, buy these three for ten dollars. It costs the same or less than any other super sub on vape. And this is an actual RDA, y'all. Let me tell you, this has real flavor. I asked them, like I said, about the what the idea was behind this. Was it a gimmick or what were they doing? And they said flavor was their number one thing. You can see the squonking works amazing. It is totally working. We're gonna turn it down a little bit. It doesn't wanna be 70 watts. It wants to be more like 55. Oh, we did that, we're at 55. Let's get that some. Can you guys see what I can see? It looked like this is a little far. I'm gonna push that up into the coil a little more so it's a little more voluminous. Further from the side, closer to the coil. Then touching this, I'm just gauging how soaked they are. They're doing really well. There's a tiny layer on the outside here. Oh, there we go, we're winning. So those are working beautifully. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys couldn't even see that. So those were working beautifully. Let's vape them. Go up to the top, let's talk. Okay. There we had to clear my throat. Wow. The flavor on this is amazing. I think it's really good. I mean, these are like stock coils soldered onto the little ceramic thing that I just re-wicked using Texas Tough. And I'm telling you, they're just absolutely amazing. Tastes really great. And this thing is like the Capo Light, like the poor man's Capo kit, I think. And um, I'm sorry, not Capo, the Capo, the Cali Light. It's like the poor man's Cali. And the reason is because it's got a big chunky inside. They keep a lot of the mess contained in that little metal ring. And the air is free to go around there with its little top slope and an 810. It's really good. I really want to get a rebuildable dick from this. And so I joy mental note, send me the rebuildable for this because I'm interested and I can't find them online. It looks good to me. But overall, and as you can see there, it's vaping just fine. Walk some more. Another thing I like about this um, particular 0.13 build that they have is that, go back to the, that the 0.12 right now, 0.13 is what it's labeled, is that, it's fairly nice on the battery life. This vapes at 55 watts. That's where it likes. It says 70 on it, although you'll notice the new ones have no wattage. This one says 50 to 70. I think 55 watts is the sweet spot for this. The flavor is great. It vapes well. It's got the super squonk. This thing squonks forever on nine millimeter, milliliters. Great. So you guys, if you want one of these, click on the link in the bio and let me know what you think. If you thought about dual squonkers, it's so nice to have two batteries in your squonker. It's fantastic. We're gonna stop the replay version of this here in just a minute and then go into the after show. But I wanna thank everybody for watching. And I also wanna draw a winner for last week's um, giveaway for Texas Tough. 
So the challenge was leave a comment in the description, and it's going to be the same thing this week. If you leave a comment in the description, we'll send you a little sampler of Texas Tough. And let's find someone for last week's episode. Let's go to the video manager. Pretty fun. Then I will find last week's episode and draw someone. I'll remember them. Thank you so much, Texas Tough, by the way. Texas Tough is all the cotton that I use. I absolutely love Quick Wicks, Juicy Wicks. I think it's fantastic. Use it for everything now. Okay. Let's go to the special stuff. Pick a winner. Let's see. Pick a Sorry, this is taking so long. <laughs> How awkward. Gotta make sure I have the right video. Hey, Daedalus. How are you, man? Got the wrong video, of course. This is the one. Come on now. There it is. KBear39. Thank you, KBear39. Her comment is on vaping on the TPRIV3. I love your channel and thank you for all your work, hard work on learning how to build. Thanks so much. That's great, KBear. Send me a note. We'll get you some Texas Tough. And I hope you're watching. And if not, I'll make a note here. Let me just take a screenshot of that. So great. Thank you so much. And again, we're going to do the same thing this week. This week, all you got to do, the winner, all you have to do is. Leave a comment down in the description. Talk about the capo. Talk about anything you want. Make sure it's about vaping and don't make it vulgar or weird. But leave a comment and we will do a, a drawing for another pack of stuff. And thanks so much to Texas Tough for sponsoring that giveaway. They are so great. I love Texas Tough. Seriously, I wish I were just making it up. I absolutely love this stuff. You guys know if you watch often that I use Texas Tough constantly. It endures the most amazing kinds of abuse for me. It always works perfectly. Save this picture. There we go. It's all good. Congratulations, Gay Bear. And then on the replay, remember, come back after the live show. And on the replay, come back and just make a comment, whatever you like. So I'm Eli Juicy Jones. I think all of you guys are great. Thank you so much. Make sure you click on like and subscribe. See you here Saturday for another Vape AM. Here I am with my Capo 216 SRDA kit. Love this thing. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, y'all. Well, we are back live. How are you? Hey, Owen. Hey, Ed. Hey, David. Hey, Layton. Hey, Daedalus. How are you guys? Jeremy, what's going on? You know, I don't know. Did they revisit the Eagle? Mmm. It looks like... Uh... I'll tell you why, Jeremy. It's because... It was very similar. It was because they, they were... Geek Vape had a, had a withdrawal from the tall and skinny Kennedy and Eagle style, and everybody went wide, so I think they had a redesign. Honestly, it's the only description, I, or it's the only reason I could think of, because I thought of the same. I have no idea. So, I love the Capo 216. I'll be using this thing constantly. I've been using it since I got it. In fact, I had to exchange this green one, because I broke the button, and, um... Got to go back. And so they sent me another one, and the one I ordered from China arrived at the same time. So I'm going to give away, like I said, this one on Instagram, the one she sent me, the blue and orange one, that finish. Then she's going to, then I'm going to keep on using this one. You guys will see that my Stormtrooper mod 2018 theme nearly complete. The madness continues. Absolutely love this. Actual this and put the capo on there do the parade of squonks on the Wismac. here comes the cali best best rda full stop 
love the Cali. So the Cali, this particular build needs more wattage. So about 75. Oh, yeah. Those are filthy. Filthy coils. I love them. They're delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, what I was showing you was my parade of 2018 odds. Here we go. I love the Stormtrooper set. So into it. This year was going to be basically about white and purple and gold and black and stainless steel. I love it. Achieving my dream. That's right, Michaela. Green. Oh, green's still a signature color, but this year I picked white and purple. Purple because 2018's color, official color, is purple, and uh, the channel color is always green. So you see how I make it work? I'm a genius. I'm a genius. It's true. Hey, Esteban, how are you? Praetorian, our buddy from Costa Rica. I absolutely love this thing. Really, I just, I can't put this thing down. Like the times that this thing has been out of my hand, it does, it isn't, it's not, you know, if you want to know if this is good in your pocket or anything, just compare it to the Wismec because it carries identically to this, but it just works way better. Big button, wonker, instead of three shitty batteries, you have two good ones. And um, it isn't unusual at all to have three batteries that add up to 6,000, 6,200 ma. At this has two. So you really are getting pretty much the same performance out of this thing. Pretty amazing. Love this thing. And I don't want to downplay the combo SRDA either, to be honest. I think it's pretty good. Like, this thing has a lot of flavor and it's squonking. You have to buy the rebuildable decks for it, which is kind of a bummer. But the flavor on this little built-in 0.13 is pretty darn good, I think. Impressive. So close again. Oh, it's too close. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. It looks like I still have a slight cotton deficit on just one side over here, doesn't it? Would you guys agree? It's popping because there's a little bit of cotton missing. So I will redo this here this evening and sort of clean that up. That needs to be more voluminous coming out of there. Wrong tool. Wrong tool for the job. There we go. It's puffed up a little bit. It's spread out. More triangular now. Less triangular now, sorry. To keep the mess to a pretty good minimum. Yum. Delicious. Me that US just got the two eighteen sixty the E leaves I invoke smaller than the noise of cricket too. That's cool. That sounds cool. You know me, I've been ignoring eighteen six fifty mods. What is the rage mod? You guys remind me what the Rage mod is. The thing is, you know how I am. If it's not a 2700 mod, I'll, I, I see it and then I sort of tune it out. And the reason is because I really don't think we should be buying 1860 mods. I think that the people who, the manufacturers who aren't doing 2700 mods are just being lazy. I don't know why they're doing it. Hmm. Actually, maybe they're not being lazy. Maybe they're having a lot of trouble getting 2700 batteries and iJoy is the only one who really has a good deal in place. Ah, uh, Esteban Murillo, is it heavy? Not particularly. I can. Oh, I don't have my scale. It's in the other room. I'm oiled. Um, it weighs about the same as the RX with all the batteries in. So if you have all the batteries in here, it's about the same. So yeah, medium. It's not super light, but it's not super heavy either. 
it holds in the hand so perfectly that it's sort of like doesn't it, it isn't any work. And what I like about this too is that its low center of gravity keeps it sort of like low, and I don't knock it over as much. And on the coffee table, it doesn't knock over as much. Ah, the Raids, the brand new two battery squawk by Old Boy OC. Yeah, I haven't really noticed. Like I said, if it's eighteen six fifty, I, I might have seen it, forgotten about it. And I hate to be snotty like that, but I'm just not that interested if it's not if it's not twenty seven hundred. And I know it'll be clickbait. I know if I get one but the answer will be I'll be disappointed that it's not a 20 uh, and Mike said it's only 155 watt but it's more than enough and I totally agree absolutely pl plenty yeah and then me that US says I fear everyone's going to go with 21s over 20s they might they may do that I mean 21 is really the promised tech and uh, still, though, after a year, only buying 20, 2,700 mods, they're still so much better than 1850s. That, that, even that fact makes me f feel perfectly fine because, let's face it, none of us are buying our last mod. That's not how this is. So I'm buying the mods I want. The mods I want are 2,700, and yeah, uh, just like you and everyone else, I'll go 21 as soon as they do that. I'll hop on any technology that's genuinely great. I'm sorry about the noise. I live downtown, and they're emptying the garbage. Can you believe it? <laughs> Oh yeah, I hope you guys can can't hear that, but I can hear it. Uh, K Bear, how many hours does the battery last? It's I mean a long time. The one of the reasons that I'm so attached to this mod is that it is a dual battery mod, and so you get the full ma. The Capo 100 is fine for what it is, but it is a single battery mod, and single battery mods have this flaw that is that it doesn't matter. We don't have batteries with that high a high a battery capacity that are any good. So, you know, even unless you're vaping on mouth to lung or very, um, and, and, um, or clear miser tanks for which it works very well, single battery mods can be irritating for people who are vaping on stuff like I'm vaping that are between 0.1 and 2. Those are the ranges where it really kills things. Hey, dude, man, it's great to see you. Hey, um, KBear39, did you see that you won the giveaway? Make sure that you send me a message somewhere. You can email jones at gmail.com or DM me anywhere. Send me your information. Touch base with me. Michaela says, noisy cricks, baby. That's right. That's exactly right. Yeah, a better supply of 2700s will definitely make it better. But like I said, after a year using basically iJoy mods, I've got 27, 20 batteries, more. So many 2700s, and so it's really plenty. I have plenty of them. And it is foolish to think that we always have to be searching for the perfect battery or that we have to reject a mod because it doesn't come with perfect batteries. I think that really, I've been perfectly happy with all the stock batteries that I've gotten. Yeah, some of them are worse than others, but they're still better than the 1850s that we were doing last year. And since I've gotten several kits for 2700 with the batteries, and I've been telling people to get with the batteries for over a year, I have amassed enough to where I have choice. I have a charger that tells me what the battery capacity is. And Mike Brain is saying that the 2700s we have are better than the 21s for now. That's true. Until the Samsung T comes out, Samsung's got some new batteries out that are 21700 quite a bit better than most of the 2700s we have, but that's, that is absolutely right. At this moment, 2700 are much better than the average. Uh, Dude Man wants a nice dual 2700 DNA 250, maybe from Lost Babe. I'm sure, I thought they had that actually. Maybe I'm crazy. I, I thought the DNA, I thought Lost Babe was selling. 50s. Might have been maybe. I know they sell 1860s, obviously. And the thing is about the, the Samsung 30Ts, you know, I wouldn't get super excited about it because remember that they're just going to be a batch of great batteries. So you guys remember that last year, Sanyo 2700As came out. These guys, these guys came out. They were like, all hail this Jesus, the new battery. And they are, but they're really, they were easy to get for the first few months. They've been impossible to get for about six, eight or so now. So um, the same exact thing might happen with those Samsung. I'd have one batch of them. 
then uh, not see. So there's still that's still what I call a trickle, a batch, a batch, a batch. Dude Mink says the lost vape paranormal is the two six two fifty C but full eighteen. He uh, says his ice stick 80 watts still going strong year and a half. Yeah, yeah. And I actually have a little in inbuilt battery I use all the time that I haven't been using in the last few months. You just reminded me I need to bust out. That thing works perfectly too. It's just that it's 22 million. Larger this time of year, time of the decade. I don't know. Like right now, I'm using larger atomizers. Daedalus is getting his blitz in. That's cool. Is his Mac Gen 2. That is cool. Wismac Gen 2, is that the RX2? Or is that the... It's called the Gen 2, isn't it? Dayla says, just buy, just buy a Tesla, you'll have batteries forever. Yeah, there's, I think there's 2,080 uh, 18650s in a Tesla. Then the new powertrain, I think, is a similar number of 21s. About 1,900 or something. Funny. Or 1,800. I can't remember... Hey, and thanks to Kerry Barto for joining Orbital Vaping Headquarters. That's great. So for y'all that are just tuning in, I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters, Juicy Jones HQ. I'm high in orbit above Seattle, Washington. We're here to get old. We're here to understand the science and technology of vaping and to build a community. So I want to thank everybody who's tuned in live. We're going to out here in just a few minutes. But we've done a review of the iJoy Capo 216. And we've gone all through the SRDA and the kit that came with it and re-wicked it. We've also chatted live, had a good time, talked all about DNA 250Cs and 20 and 2700 back too. Yeah. Anyone else hyped for the for the dual coil geek vape Zeus? Yeah, I am a little I'm I'm six out of ten hyped for that. That doesn't mean that's what I think it'll be. I mean that's how hyped I am. So that's that's pretty hyped. Seven. That's, if it's more hype than that, then I'm pretty fucking hype. Uh, and Michaela's asking if I pre-ordered that Pulse 80 watt, and I did do that. I just don't remember who with, but I will get one from somewhere. Uh, I ordered it that same day, if I recall, and it was. Um, I know that that was. I think Rich Jaws, the one who donated the money for me to buy that. <laughs> hey, Tenacious to Texas Vapes, how are you, buddy? There's our pal Stan. It's your mother digging Jones. Mother licking tenacious Texas vapes. Hey, by the way, Stan, I'm going to be in Texas, in Dallas, in uh, for the state fair in October 20, no, September 27th through October 9th or something like that. So if you're around, we should have at least part of a day we can hang out. I got to take my girlfriend all over the state to introduce her to the family and friends and stuff, but it'll be fun. Anyway, I'll be down there. And don't forget that we'll be at the West Coast Vape Expo on July 7th, 8th and 9th. Yep, love the dreamer. In fact, my dreamer right now is sitting here with no atomizer on it whatsoever, naked with no battery. I had the I had the Cali on it, so I took it off for the squonker. So, and uh, Stan, we're gonna go to Austin. So if you're anywhere near there, four hours south sounds like you're in San Antonio or maybe even here. But, uh, anyway, we will talk about that. And I hope all of y'all have a great day. I love all y'all. Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody have a great day. This time it went well. Thank you to Comcast for not destroying my internet. And we're going to vape out at 55 watts on my Combo SRDA, my Capo 260. Love this thing. Great. Thank you.